The Betfred Bowl is almost a rerun of last week's Cheltenham Gold Cup, but with one or two interesting ones thrown in and a couple missing. Three mile, one furlong this time on a quicker, flatter track. And it's a great one, of course. Top one, Albano Saints for James Shea. Fanlow, Darren Thompson. G.I. Joe, the Gold Cup winner. And red hot favourite, Leon Van Rensburg. Kazban Mulligan, David Robertson ran a big race last week. As two did Landscape Road for Craig Allen. Saddlers four for James Shea. Slow burner, Leon Van Rensburg. Test of Faith, Joshua Sutherland. Yes, row, Darren Thompson. Chingford Cross, a big runner last week as well for. Craig Allen, come shame for David Robertson, cry to me, Daniel French, Maritza Thomas Rogers, Roach for Paul O'Neill, Triven Run, Ryan Costello, and watching carefully Ponty Paul Racing. So they called in and away they go then in. This is going to be a fascinating race with the first four from last week's Gold Cup being joined by one or two interesting other ones as they take the first come shame to a lot of people thought should have run in the Gold Cup last week. Also, Roach was a good winner at Cheltenham, and it should be a bit of a a good race this one they're already down towards the second they're all safely over the first and saddler's four is the leader by about a neck as they take the second they're all safely over fence number two making their way towards the next and yes a a forder in the gold cup last week we're trying to put that right is in the lead by about three quarters of a length do saddler's four in second then test of faith and albano saints Triven run is close up then Kazban Mulligan after that one as they pass the big screen and take this one it'll be the last on two circuits time oh Kazban Mulligan's gone well there's a real surprise then Kazban Mulligan who ran such a big race last week has departed in the early part of this race out at the third fence and that's a bit of a surprise so Sadler's four then will take this left hand turn sharp left hand turn which a lot of people don't like and Sadler's four is the leader from Yesero in second then Albano Saints is third Test of Faith is four Triven Run is five then comes G.I. Joe Maritza and Chingford Cross with Slow Burner and Roach Landscape Road tucked in on the inside maybe the jockey will be playing more of a waiting game on that one this week I think Trainer thinks it's got a great chance on this flatter quicker track and they're racing down towards the fourth now then and Sadler's four is in the lead from Albano Saints. But Sadler's four lead is a good three lengths. As they race, that's that little group of race goers and their hospitality tent and finally get to the fourth. Good jump by the horse in second. Albano Saints, they could well be stable mates those front, front two. And it's Sadler's four in the lead. Albano Saints second, then Yesero with Triven Run on the inside of Test of Faith as they take the fifth. And a mistake at the back there by Come Shamed. And David Robertson's not having a lot of luck with his jumpers in this race. He's already lost Kazban Mulligan. And Come Shamed is just being shook up a little bit there as they take that next one. Jumped it much better though this time. And there's still a long way to go. They're just running into the final two miles now then. And Sattler's four is blazing the trail in the lead by about five lengths. To Albano Saints in second. Then Test of Faith and Triven Run. And Yesero as they take the seventh. Fanlow's after that. Good jump there by the Grey Roach. It was well worth keeping an eye after its performance last week. G.I. Joe's just lost his place a little bit, dropping down towards the back of the pack, just behind Landscape Road. I'm actually going to keep his eye on that one. Sadler's four. He's in front. The lead is down to just two now. There was Albano Saints. He's jumping really well. And has now gone up to join the leader, although the jockey's just taken a bit of a pull. To take him back a little bit. Test of Faith, Triven Run, and then Fanlow and Yesero stable companions running together with Landscape Road and Roach. And cry to me as they take the ninth. And they're all over that one, okay. There was a mistake towards the back by Maritza. And Chingford Cross is also at the back at this point. But as we said, still a long way to go, and they are going pretty quickly at this stage. And Sattler's four and Albano Saints past the big screen then in the lead they've got round at this point really quickly as they take that 10th and they're all safely over that one as well and Sadler's four in the lead past the winning post then one more circuit to go and it's Sadler's four in the lead Albano Saints is second and Test of Faith is three Landscape Rose move on the outside at a fourth then comes Yesero and Fanlow Triven run then cry to me and Roach G.I. Joe's trying to get back into it again then comes Shame again closer watching carefully Maritza and finally Chingford Cross the race is on in earnest now and Landscape Road is already beginning to creep round the outside to try and take much closer order the trainer probably won't be too keen on seeing him go this soon 
And it's Saddlers for those still in front from Albano Saints. Then Yesero and Landscape Road. Slow Burner is now getting into it as well. Cry to Me is well placed between them. Fadlow on the outside. G.I. Joe, Joe stalking the lot of them. Come Shame the Grey is going to try and come widest of all. And watching carefully. Roach just dropped back a little bit. And the back two are struggling a little bit of Maritza and Chingford Cross. So they're at the 11th then. And another good jump by the leader. I've seen him pull a length or two in front of Slow Burner in second. Landscape Roads now poked his head into third. The race is really beginning to develop now and as they come down to the 12th and over that one a really good jump by Slow Burner has seen him challenge for the lead and look who's right behind him stable companion G.I. Joe just crept up without anybody noticing to be really close up as they take the 13th and over that one it was Saddler's 4 in the lead still but being challenged now by G.I. Joe and Slow Burner test of faith on the inside closest to us the grey comes shame Landscape Road now just being pushed along a little bit then comes Yesero and Roach it's a wide open race this one as they come down to the 14th and over that one they go and Saddler's 4 again takes a length out of the field in the air. It's Saddler's 4 in the lead with just 3 to jump. Saddler's 4 by 2 from G.I. Joe and Slow Burner. Here comes Come Shamed. The one that's coming really well round the wide outside is Cry to Me. Yes, her own Fanlow is still trying to run on as well. Landscape Road is really struggling and looks beaten to me. And they come down to the sec third last. And over the third last they go. It's Saddler's four in the lead from G.I. Joe and Come Shame. Then Yesero. And then closest to us, Cry to Me. Landscape Road's trying to run on, but he's got a hell of a lot to do from there. It's Saddler's four in the lead. G.I. Joe, Come Shame, Yesero. Only got two to jump. Over the second last they go. And Come Shame hits the front. Come Shame is now in the lead, but fighting back. He's Saddler's four. G.I. Joe between the two of them. Then Yesero and Fanlo. It's between these as they race towards the final fence then. And come shame, you missed the Gold Cup last week. He's in the lead from G.I. Joe in second. And towards his final fence then. It's come shame, he gets over in the lead. G.I. Joe next and the Yesero. Then after that one comes Saddler's four. But it's come shame in the lead. He's got to lower the colours of G.I. Joe. Is it a racial towards on G.I. Joe lunges and just gets up. G.I. Joe just got up to take that. We lost Roach and Triven running the straight. And well, that was... A very interesting race because it looked like Come Shamed had stolen that. But G.I. Joe, I think, has just got up on the line. Landscape Road ran no race at all. And Saddler's four blazed a trace. Another short head win for Leon Van Rensburg. G.I. Joe takes it on the line. The only place it was ever in the lead. Come Shame for David Robertson was very unlucky in second. Saddler's four really set the race up well for James Shea in third. Fanlow for Darren Thompson was fourth and slow burner for Leon Van Rensburg hung on to be fifth. One or two disappointments in that race. Most notably Landscape Road who the trainer really fancied to turn the tables on G.I. Joe today but never really looked like he was going at all.